Yo right, guys, how are we all doing? It's Andy here from Peninsula Painting Projects and welcome back to the channel. Now guys, if you enjoy seeing these unboxing videos of these magazines or any other unboxing uh, material that I produce, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. Also, why not join my Facebook group, Peninsula Hobby and Chill. It's where we discussed army building, what we're collecting, what we're working on, what we think about Conquest and Hatchet. Um, well, there's uh, something that we could discuss later, floppy. Um, so yeah, come and join the group. Don't forget as well, guys, I've got my own bricks and mortar store, friendly local game store. It's Primal War Games. So I'll leave all the links and that down below and up above and whatnot. So what we're doing in this video, we're gonna have a little look at issue 37. Now this is this week's, it's a couple of days late and I apologize, I've been very busy. Um, I've been looking after the baby and being in work and stuff, but it's all good. At least we're getting to see anyway. Um, so it, it's in a bit more terrain, which I'm personally happy about, because it could do with more terrain, being a friendly local game store. You know, I can never have too much terrain. In fact, I'm having a game tomorrow, My Space Wolves versus Admech, but I haven't told them this. I'm doing a couple of deta different detachments, uh, which I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of the whole detachment stuff now, but I'm using them um, Imperial Guard, Loyal 32. If you know, you know. And I'm gonna do my Space Wolves as well. I've started to incorporate a bit more Primaris into the army, but you know, we're not here to discuss that. We're here to have a little look at this. So guys, let's turn the camera around and I'll see you in a second. Nice one, see you in a minute. Right then guys, we're going to have a little look at Warhammer Conquest issue 37. Get this open door. I think the sprue's a little bit broken. So we're getting the same sprue from the last one we got, exactly the same. Now guys, if you've bought this Rise of Rust Ruins box set, can you let me know, do you get two of the same sprues or do you get two different ones? Because it's slightly annoying if, you, if they've given us two this time. I can find use for it. Um, and I think we, we, I worked out we were saving, was it about 30%, 25, 30%. So we've already seen this, so there's no point looking over it again, but it's highly detailed, good line of sight blocking, good cover saves, plus one, two cover saves. So it's not too bad. We'll have a little look at that another time. And then we've got the magazine, 7 99 per month. And as you notice, we've got the Australian and New Zealand prices up there. So that's very interesting. Our friends over in Australia have now got the magazine. And a couple of the lads on Facebook, on my group, Peninsula Hobby and Chill, have been sharing all their little bits and bobs that they've been getting. And I made up for you guys. Hopefully America can get it one day. Um, but we can only hope. So, um, Chronicles of Ultramar, recess shading your Ultramines now and warlords in your game. So, nice beautiful picture here of a Chaos Sorcerer, Death Guard Sorcerer. Look at that artwork, sorry about the glare, but that artwork is absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice. Chronicles of Ultimar, bit of information there. M30, N31. Just a history background. Rise of Us Ruins, we already know what to do. Clip them out, stick them together, paint them black apparently. Um, Mine are currently red and green, which uh, Zach, good guy, painted them for me on a commission, uh, who's also doing commission pages. He's a part of the group as well. So you can always communicate to him via the group if you want anything painting if you live in the UK. So that's obviously how we're all painting it. It's, it's the exact same as last time. Bit of a waste, really. But oh, well. Um, recess shading. Are we, oh, Steel Legion Drab on your Ultramines now. Um, which is quite good. And then your Athonian camo shade as well. Ah, that's interesting. On the uh, Laurel thing here, they've used, they've obviously used the Rakar Flesh and then they're using the uh, Athonian camo shade over as a wash. It's very interesting. Um, and obviously going to your recess shading, like what it said in the other magazine, makes it look a lot better. Mine doesn't look as good as that, unfortunately. A little bit annoyed about that, but oh well. And then what's all this? It's going to be a bit of a short video, guys, because it's just a repeat, literally, of last time. So, Warlord Traits. 
Here's your Warlord traits here. Also an interesting read, pretty much. Um, different, uh, oh, adding, oh, you know. Cutting this out and adding it to your battlefield, that's not too bad, that's pretty cool. And then get to the drop ship. And then what are we getting? Oh, yes. So we're getting the Plague Sage and I want a little bit of a battle mat as well. Hopefully that's cardboard. And then we're getting our Primarch Captain the following week. So I'm going to try and get a couple of them because I collect a couple of different uh, Space Marine armies, so I want a couple of them. Guys, it's a bit of a short video, not much really to report. Obviously, it is just a brief look over. Uh, I'm going to paint up those scenery. University is finished now, so I've got a lot more time for the hobby, a lot more time to spend with the family, um, so I don't get moaned at when I do hobby stuff. Uh, and I've got a lot more time to work as well, so we can earn a bit more money to spend on the hobby. And most importantly, actually, I can spend a bit more time on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you soon. Nice one.